Welcome to another episode of Sports and Discourse with Derek Stevenson. And today I want to talk about Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury 3. So, um, you know, I guess everybody's probably aware that, um, you know, Saturday, October the 9th in uh, T-Mobile Arena in Paradise, Nevada, we're going to get Tyson Fury versus Dante Wilder 3. And this is being billed as once and for all. It's basically uh, the ending to the trilogy boxing fight between um, the WBC and the ring heavyweight champion Tyson Fury and the former WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. And, um, to be honest with you, I feel like, um, at the end of the first fight, you could kind of see, uh, Tyson Fury was kind of figuring out what to do with Deontay Wilder. And, um, you know, he was he didn't come out victorious, but, um, I think he kind of figured out what he needed to do. And then he came back in the second fight and, uh, he had added a little bit more weight and, um, he kind of, uh, used his weight to, it seemed like he tired Deontay out and then he just outboxed him the whole entire time while he was draining his stamina and he pretty much easily won the match. And I feel like, uh, He's probably going to do the exact same thing to end the third match of the trilogy. I think he's going to come out victorious again. I just think he's better than Tyson, I mean, better than Deontay Wilder. And um, I think he's just going to completely, like, outclass him one more time. But the the only thing that does concern me is is that uh, I had heard um, – some rumor reports that uh fury had put on like 20 pounds of muscle supposedly or at least 20 pounds of weight and that's kind of concerning in the sense because tyson's already huge as it is pause but um he's like six nine and i think he fought the last fight against wilder around 275 ish so putting on twenty uh, more pounds, I really don't, I really don't quite understand what the point of that is, um, because Deontay Wilder usually comes in pretty small. So even if Deontay Wilder buffs up, man, he probably still gonna be under two fifty. So you would still be twenty pounds heavier than him, even if you just came in. Or what you came in the last time, which was around 275. So it just kind of concerns me because if he weighs in around 290-something, that means he's probably going to go home after the weigh-in. He's going to eat. Uh, he's probably going to end up coming in probably about like 300-plus. So I don't know if it would be a good idea for him to fight Wilder at weighing in over 300 pounds. That could probably be every. Uh, a slim advantage to Wilder and you know at the end of the day Wilder can knock him out I mean Wilder is just strong enough where if he catch anybody slipping he can pretty much knock anybody out in the heavyweight division so I feel like um you know if, if Fury comes in and he's slower and gets tired faster because of the extra weight and he's moving around slow. Uh, Wilder could catch him slipping and put him on a mat. So, you know, I feel like um, he probably should have came in prepared the same way he did for the second fight, and he would have been just fine. But hopefully for him, you know, the extra weight won't hold him back. But uh, we'll see what um, we'll see what happens, man. I mean, if I had to, uh, if I had to guess. I would say it's pretty much going to go like the second fight did. I actually bet somebody, one of my co-workers, $20, uh, just a little lightweight bet because I'm really, i not really big on betting on sports. And if I am going to bet, I'm definitely probably not going to bet on boxing because I really don't know too much about the fighting sports. But I do feel like I believe 
that Fury is going to easily win this match unless he is hindered by this extra weight game. But we'll see what happens. So I'll probably uh, report back after um, maybe uh, sometime next week just to let y'all, you know, just, just to talk about what happened and how things ended up. But as of right now, my prediction is Fury definitely going to win um, by decision. I think, um, yeah, I ain't, I ain't going to go with a knockout. I'm going to just say he's going to just beat him up in boxing, man. Just slowly but surely, he's just going to work him until it's over with, man. So that's where I'm going with that. But anyways, we will uh, see what happens. Y'all let me know. What do y'all think? Do y'all think um, Wilder going to get his belts back? Uh, or do y'all think Fury's going to take it again, man? And the thing about it is, if Fury beats him again, then Wilder's never going to get another shot at the championship until somebody else has it because Fury will just be like, and I already beat you twice. There's no reason for us to fight the fourth time. So this one is kind of do or die for Wilder. Otherwise, he's going to have to leave it up to somebody else to come in and do the job that he wasn't able to do and try to work his way back that way. So this is a extremely important fight. This is like a make or break for his career, man. So it's a lot at stake, but um, we'll see what happens. But anyways, y'all let me know in the comments. What do y'all think? Are y'all going with Wilder? Are y'all going with Fury? Um, what do y'all see knockouts happening? Just let me know what y'all think, man, and we'll get back to it. All right, peace.